All right, welcome back to our last uh, little mini lesson on the projectile formula. So again, our, our circumstance here was someone was throwing the snowball at a, a velocity, initial velocity of 16 feet per second, starting at a height of 32, right? We found the vertex, which is the maximum height that the ball would, uh, or not the ball, the snowball would get. And we know it got up to 36. The next part is finding when it hits the ground, okay? Well, anytime something hits the ground, it's going to be at a height of zero, right? Because it's sitting on kind of our baseline, so zero, and which, which is a good thing because if we're looking for the time that it hits the ground and the height that it hits the ground, if we're looking for two variables, we can't solve for two variables simultaneously. But we don't have to because we know the h of t, or the height, when it's sitting on the ground is zero. So we say zero is its height. And then we write out the rest of the formula or the equation. So 16t plus 32. Now, we've seen this a lot recently, right? You can factor this by grouping. You can complete this square. You can use the quadratic formula. Well, that's what I want to do here, okay? And again, we're looking for the time when this snowball finishes its flight and boom, hits the ground, okay? So we know the height is zero. So it's something comma zero, right? Because we're gonna have a zero y value or h of t, okay? So this is height with respect to time and this is time. So our quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all divided by two a. So remember we've got our a value We've got our B value, and we've got our C value. So we're going to plug those directly in. So negative, and B is 16, plus or minus the square root of 16 squared minus 4 times A, which is negative 16, and C, which is 32, all divided by 2 times A, which is negative 16. Okay. Okay. So remember, when we do the quadratic formula, we have two answers here, right? Because what this is telling us is, I'm going to do a dotted line, okay? This is a parabola, right? Opens downward. And this tells us these two points. Well, we're not looking for this point because it's unrealistic, right? This is now a negative time. So we're going to get some negative value over here. And we're going to ignore this one. This doesn't make sense, right, for a real-life application. So we're only looking for the positive time. So I'm going to look at this. I'm going to do this in my calculator, okay? So 16 squared is it's 256. So 256. And then I see a negative and a negative through multiplication. So whatever this is, is going to be positive, okay? So 4 times 16 times 32 equals it is plus 2048, okay? So this is under the radical. My pen is running out of ink, okay? So I'm gonna plug this directly in now. I'm gonna do minus or negative 16, plus or minus the square root. So 256 plus this 2048 equals 2,304, all divided by negative 32, okay? So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to do negative 16 plus the square root. So negative 16 plus the square root of 2,304 equals, that's 32, which is awesome because it looks messy, okay? So 32 divided by negative 32 equals negative 1, okay? So that tells us that this is at negative 1, 0, okay? Remember, this is the solution that doesn't make sense, right? You can't have negative 1 seconds. That's not, that's not what we were doing, okay? Now, the other one, so I did the plus first. Now, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do negative 16 minus the square root of this, so negative 16 minus the square root of 2304, okay? This is negative 64. So negative 64 is the numerator divided by negative 32. Well, two negatives, 
make a positive, and that's twice. Okay, so two seconds. So the answer to our question, after a person throws a snowball at this initial velocity, at this height, we know that it gets up to 36 feet, and then it will be sitting on the ground at two seconds. Okay, so quick recap. We take our quadratic equation, okay? We plug in a height of zero because we're talking about things that have hit the ground. That's a height of zero. Then we use our quadratic formula, okay? Remember the formula gives us two values because it has two intercepts, x-intercepts or roots, solutions, whatever you want to call them. But one, when you're talking about real-world applications, doesn't make sense, right? We can't have negative time. So once I did the plus this value, I got minus one second or negative one second. Then I went back and did the other one. I found that it's a positive two seconds, okay? So this one right here is the one that makes sense for our application, okay? So don't be confused by the negative. Just know that that one will be ignored for us because we're talking about only positive time values because that's what makes sense in this problem. Okay, come to class if you have any other questions.